Hello, good afternoon. My name is Bimbo and welcome to our channel once again. If you're just seeing this channel for the first time, this is Jackpot with your days. On this channel, we discuss relocation opportunity to Portugal where we reside, to Austria and other beautiful European countries where we believe that uh, you're going to have a beautiful and affordable relocation experience. Now, <clears throat> I'm sure you're wondering what opportunities uh, do we have to share to you guys today? Yes, we have another great news, another important vocational opportunities to share to you guys today. But before we delve deeper into it, now, um, in this time and age where almost everybody have um, waking up to the beauty of Jagba or relocation, I, I, I believe that uh, trade school is a very old small advantage in terms of uh, relocation opportunities. Now, and by trade school, I'm talking about vocational opportunity, vocational schools in Europe. <clears throat> the reason is because it's um, the minute most of the trade school that are there, I mean, on this channel alone, we've discussed to Portugal, to, um, we've discussed to Portugal, to Austria, to Finland, to Italy, to Malta, Okay, we've discussed to about five European countries where most, I mean, about 80% of, of them are, are, I mean, have a, a no tuition policy, meaning you don't pay tuition fees at all in about, I mean, for instance, um, the one to Portugal, the tuition fee is as low as 1,200 such that uh, you can pay uh, up to 10 installment and you know the good news is that the application procedure is, uh, has ended and a lot of the people in our telegram group are currently sharing their testimony with regards to the how, how the uh, interview experience went and it looks like some of them already uh, have been able to convince the interview panel which shows that uh, they are likely going to get admission so and uh, i mean and a host of others now for Portugal, that, I mean, that is for Portugal. And then for Austria, where I shared an information to, um, I mean, those that, to, uh, I mean, that are in the career, I mean, that are in the tech space, rather, that are in the tech space or open to switch to the tech space where there is no tuition fee, there is no hidden charges or anything, no qualification is required, no, um, no experience or whatsoever is required. All they require from you is just to have an, 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 an interest or an ambition to be a tech, a website developer, a data analyst, a, a cyber security expert, a, a cyber security expert, a, an artificial intelligence expert, among other wide range of uh, um, cyber, I mean, uh, among other wide range of tech tech uh, career that you can choose for yourself, okay, U, UI or UX design, etc. I mean, I've, I've shared that is for Austria and then we've shared for Malta where you can learn, I mean, you can, you can get diploma in, in tourism management in different areas in, in Malta. The tuition fee is as low as 1,260 euro for a year, okay, and uh, we've shared to uh, I mean, to Finland, we, we've shared to Finland, we've shared the uh, Riveria College, Vermeer College, and, and, and I think the, the, the Finland own is, is what is going to be the, 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 the majority of what I'm going to talk about today, because there are other four vocational school or, or a trade school that are there in Finland that they are currently uh, recruiting international uh, applicants on no tuition policy, no tuition fees is required. All they require from you is your living expenses, be able to show proof that you can take care of your living expenses throughout your stay in that school. And then we'll share to Italy where you can learn tourism management, uh, uh, I mean, uh, to be a cook, to be, a, I mean, different opportunities we've shared to Italy. And then we've shared to Portugal as well, uh, which other country, Austria, and then uh, which other country. We've shared to about five European countries where you can learn trade school. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not disputing the place of traditional schooling where you can get BSc or MSc. But I just feel that uh, when you go to when you go to Europe, or I mean, when you go to Europe to study uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a vocational school or in a trade school, the, you have about 95% chances to either get employment during your trade school, I mean, your trade schooling, or after your trade schooling. And in fact, most of the 
vocational opportunity or trade school opportunity in Europe that are shared have opportunity for applicants such that even before they finish school, they will either be employed or they will be, they, 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 the system has been designed such that they will assist them to be able to get job when they finish. So compare it with somebody that go to um, study BSc or MSc. I mean, and you see them in the UK, for instance, you see one person having two MBA, two masters, three MBA, three masters just because they want to be able to legalize their stay. And in Europe, you don't need that. Once you, once you have a job, that means you have a legal reason to stay in Europe, okay? So that is that, is that about, uh, that, is that, uh, that is the beauty or the advantage of trade school. So I want you guys to be able to think out of the box this year, to be able to that, I mean, you'll be able to set a plan, a target plan for yourself, not only Oh, I must go to university to study a master's, to study PhD, to study, because not everybody are even interested in doing that master or, or doing that PhD. So people just want to have an opportunity that will be sustainable such that uh, they will be able to relocate out of the country that they are in. And when they get to the country that they are going to, they will also have a sustainable structure in place such that after the study, they will have a job waiting for them. So trade school is the only opportunity that offer such kind of advantage. Most of them have paid internship and uh, especially, I mean, uh, for the one I've shared about Portugal, for the one I've shared about Austria, the one I've shared about uh, Finland, uh, Italy, and even uh, Malta, they, before you finish, most of them will, most of the people that are going there will be able to you will be able to get a job or after you're done, they will assist you with paid internship. Yes, it's part of the package. Paid internship for about six months to one year. So I want you guys to be able to think out of the box this year such that uh, you will not, I mean, waste your time getting uh, 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 BSc or MSc that at the end of the day, the course, you don't have any plan with it. You just want to use it to jack up. But with a, with a trade school, 95% of the time, you will get a job or the system, the school themselves are the one that will fix you up with an employment opportunity. Okay, so I want you guys to be able to, uh, so that's why I don't want you guys to get this video wrongly, okay? Now, the purpose of today's um, um, video is about the Finland uh, vocational opportunities. Like I said, we've talked about Riveria, we've talked about uh, uh, Vemia, okay? And I mean, even Riveria, so let me, let me quickly uh, show you some of this uh, opportunity, okay? Now, uh, for Riveria, most of their, uh, I mean, this is for Vemia, their applications uh, is uh, for Vemia, the application is going to open for uh, in May 2nd for those who want to uh, become a cook or waiter or waitress. By uh, May 2nd, that is another round of application. And in Finland, all the six schools that I'll be talking about today, they have what is called a no tuition fee policy. All that they require from you is to have uh, a proof to be able to show that uh, you can take care of your living expenses. That is all that is required. No tuition fee is required from anyone. And before you finish the uh, uh, trade school or before you finish your course in the trade school, job opportunities are quite there and available for you based on the system in place in these six trade school that I'll be talking about in Finland, okay? So I've talked about Vemia and Riveria College, but I just wanted to quickly update you guys that uh, for Cook, for those who are interested in Cook and Waiter in, uh, in, in Vemia, the application will be open by May 2nd, 2024. And then, uh, so yeah, you can, you can, you know, easily look into that. So you can become a, you can become a cook, you can, <clears throat> you can study, um, um, mechanic, you can study how to be an engineer in 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 Vemia, and also the same thing for Riveria. Okay, the same thing for Riveria. You can you can study how to become an engineer. You can study. So I've talked about all of these two schools. So I'm not going to delve deeper into any one of them. I'm just going to share with you that uh, they have an an ongoing application for. Uh, those who want to become, who want to study restaurant and catering service, the application has opened from 18th of March and is going to end by 29th of March. So if you're interested, you can use the previous video that I've shared details about the application procedure for Vemia and for 
um, 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 Reveria. But let me just quickly say this, that the other four vocational schools or three schools I'll be talking about today have similar pattern in terms of, uh, especially uh, in terms of no tuition fees. Yes, like I said, the six of them, no tuition fees is required. And then, and then the, 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 the way in which you'll be able to show proof that you understand English, some of them require that you take a Duolingo test. And I don't know what issues are some people are having about Duolingo test. Duolingo test is, is I mean, when I search for it online, I'm going to leave the link of all these things I'm talking about on the video description anyway. The Duolingo test is something that uh, you can study within two days and the next day you can take the exam. And I think the, the exam is about uh, uh, 40 to 50 per, you know, 40 to $50. Yeah, something around that. So it's, it's way cheaper compared to IELTS that you study for weeks and months. And at the end of the day, they instill that uh, you must take it at a particular place. This one, you can study it online. You can prepare for the exam online. You take the exam online. And in 24 hours, you get your results. You can use it to apply. So I don't know what issues people are having with uh, this Duolingo test. This is, I mean, Finland has a great opportunity for international um, um, applicants who want to relocate. So like I said, trade schools should be your middle target this year because one, it is cheaper and some of them do, does not even require that you pay tuition fee. So unlike normal traditional school where you go to study BSc, MSc and PhD. So secondly, they have cheaper living expenses for most of the European countries that I've talked about. Okay, so which means it helps you to reduce what you should be bothering yourself about regarding proof of funds. Okay, so because if there is no school fees, that means that uh, the proof of funds that you will need to have in your account will not be that enormous. You only need to take care of your living expenses for at least a year, including rent feeding. That is all. So that is why I said that trade school, if I am just planning to jackpot this year or thereabout, I would be thinking about trade school or vocational school in Europe because that way I will know that when I'm done with the program that I'm going to study there, I have a 95% a, a chance to get a job immediately compared to when you go to Europe to, you know, to do um, a master's in management, business administrations and the likes. Okay. Now, that is that about the two of them. Now, let's quickly talk about this school. Now, I'm going to try to dwell, you know, a little bit on this school in particular because um, they have uh, an interesting an interesting course, which looks like the one that have been done in Austria, 42 Vienna, okay, where you can learn data analytics, cybersecurity, and all other uh, tech uh, uh, career that you may want to choose for yourself. Now, this is uh, Business College Helsinki, okay? Now, the application pro uh, uh, um the, it's a vocational school anyway. The application is going to open by March 21st, which is today, okay? And it is going to end by April 30th, okay? And that is for those who are interested in vocational opportunity in business. And another one is March, tw March 21st to May 1st, sorry, yeah, May 5th, rather, for those who are interested in studying Stack Web Developer. This is for tech guys, okay? So. Business College Helsinki is offering you an opportunity to come and study Stack Web Developer without a tuition fee. All they require is to take care of your living expenses. Now, let's quickly look at some of the requirements. Okay? And then, like I said, this one is going to be strictly, you, they require you to provide a motivation letter, okay? They require you to provide a motivation letter. They will do a personal interview with you. They will do an interview with you to be able to, you know, check the extent of your spoken English, okay? And of course, when you are submitting your application, you will also need to be able to provide some document that shows that you can uh, you can speak English and see the document that they accept here, okay? Let's quickly look into uh, the document that they accept for uh, English language. Uh, this is the, I'm going to leave this on the, on the what is it called anyway yes this is the document that they accept for english language ielts TOEFL, you know national certificate in english language so and the higher degree completed in english so which means if you have done bsc or you have done msc and you can show a, what is called english proficiency certificate from the school showing that you were taught in english you get an uh, you get a waiver now then they said that uh, upper secondary education so this is uh, this i think it means that uh, if you have um 
uh, Waheg, Neko, GC, or any old level for Africans, or any old level whatsoever that is equivalent to uh, English language level uh, level grade seven, you will get a you will get a waiver. So, but of course, if you have IHS, TOEFL, and the likes, you will um, you can get a waiver to submit your applications, and then you'll be considered one when, when, when you submit your application. But like I said, the interview is strictly going to be. Uh, they will do interview for you, which is how they will uh, select you. So see the application period, May 21st to May 5th, personal interview by May 27th, admission result, everybody that has been, you know, that is successful during the interview will be notified by June 7th. Then by the expect that by June 21st, you confirm your place, the program start by August 8th of this year. Now, uh, that is that for uh, yeah, this is the personal interview and practical test. I'm not going to dwell much. I'm just going to, I'm going to leave the link of this year for you anyway. Now, see, cost of studies for students in Finland. Business College Helsinki does not have scholarship available for students and cannot offer financial assistance to students towards travel expenses, living expenses or study related expenses in Finland. Therefore, students are required to finance and to cover this cost to the full amount themselves. Common expense items include photocopy of materials, study supplies, study equipment, possible cost textbook, meals, housing, travel, transportations, other general living expenses. So, which means you should be able to take care of your living expenses throughout your study day because there's no tuition fee that is required. All you have to bother about is your living expenses. So that is uh, that is that about some of this uh, information here that I just want to quickly talk about. And of course, you need to provide a motivation letter, especially those that want to go for the um, uh, for the um, uh, full stack web developer program. Okay, you must be able to provide motivation letter, and then, and even those that want to go for vocational study for the business um, uh, for the business as well needs to also provide a motivation. Uh, later. So I will drop details about this, um, uh, I mean, uh, the application procedure, I will drop it on the uh, video description so that I can read extensively about uh, what is required uh, from you. That is that about business Helsinki, okay? That is that. Now, another vocational school is called uh, Varia. Yes, Varia. Their application, see, this is the course that you can study there. Vocational qualification in restaurant and creative services, vocational qualification in tourism industry, and then competent unit, European dishes, how, the, how you can, you know, uh, learn how to prepare European dishes for, I mean, those that are in Europe and, of course, event. Let's quickly look at some of the, uh, the procedure here, okay? Now, uh, yeah. So to apply, you have to apply through this link, okay? And then the application procedure, application period as followed, for if you want to resume by October, by October or November, you, you have to pay, I mean, uh, the it starts by January. And if you want to resume by August, you have to apply between April or May of every year. And the language requirement is fluent in English. You must be able to pro prove that you understand English. Admission will be based on an interview. It, will, it is based on your interview that they will be able to determine whether you are qualified. Then you must be able to show uh, motivation and interaction skills, suitability for the hospitality industry, work experience in the field, OK? You must be able to show all of this. And employment opportunities are you know, are also provided for those who are in this, uh, who are taking this uh, vocational opportunity, okay? So that is that about the Varia, okay? Don't forget the application procedure is going to, uh, is going to start soon. So you can expect, you can follow, I will drop the link, like I said, so you can follow up with the school. Now, another school, which is the sixth school, sixth vocational school that I'll be talking about for, um, for uh, Finland is Kareria. Kareria, I mean, and I think uh, most of the courses that they teach in this place are vet related. They are vet related and their application as well are going to commence uh, usually by May, okay, from what you're seeing on the screen, usually by May, especially for those who want to resume by August of 2024, okay? So the application as well will resume by uh, will open by um, May or April, and then they expect that you'll be able to resume by 8. So if you're interested in this school as well, you can, um, I will leave the link, you can delve deeper into them so that we don't waste your time talking about about six 
of them. Let me, I mean, I've talked about a very and very extensively in a separate video. So I just wanted to update you that the application procedure for these schools are also the same thing, okay? And uh, the low tuition fee is required in any of the six vocational school or trade school in Finland. No, no vocation, sorry, no tuition fee is required. Only your living expenses is what you need to bother yourself about. And another thing is that uh, your living expenses, depending on which country you are in, at least about 2,000 euro equivalent, because Finland is an European country, so about 2,000 euro equivalent in your account is more than enough living expenses for a year, which of course will cover your um, rent, feeding, and, and if you are very prudent, you'll be able to take care of yourself. And then especially, let me quickly mention this, for the Business colleges think here, especially those that are going for the full stack web developer, they mentioned that uh, this course is very, um, is very, I mean, uh, this is what you'll be trained on. They, they, they teach you programming, working as a software developer, software implementation, using a software component. So they expect that uh, you will, you, sh you should not expect to uh, do a full-time job because of the requirement of this job. And, and I think it's even most of the uh, uh, vocational study or trade school that I've talked about here anyway, you cannot expect to do a full-time job with this school because of the requirement of the of the study. So at least what, of course, you can do a part-time job on the side to be able to, you know, take care of yourself and some other expenses that you feel you need. So that is, um, that is that if you um so that is just an update that i just quickly want to share for everybody so think about trade school for your japa plan it is very cheap it is that there is no tuition fee for most of them and those that have tuition fee the tuition fee is as low as 1200 yes portugal asks you to pay 10 times the one in mortar as well ask you to pay it in, in, in instrumental payment. And uh, which other one? Yes. In Italy as well, they said that if you want to pay it instrumentally, you can send an email to them. And then, so, I mean, so, and all those that I've talked about, they are no tuition fee opportunity for the one in Austria, which is for the two Vienna, where you can learn um, any tech related skills. No tuition fee is required. All you need, in fact, no tuition fee, no qualification, no experience is required. Nothing, nothing is required. All they ask you is your interest. And from those that have been sharing their experience that uh, they have passed the first stage, they are preparing to go for the for the second stage. So, um, so I mean, I, I wish them all the best. And then uh, I, I, I really hope that they get into Vienna because getting an opportunity and information from this channel and using it to be able to achieve your plan is one of our goal. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm also praying that uh, everyone who is watching and subscribing to our channel will also be able to achieve their Jagba plan this year. So that is that about uh, the opportunities that I want to, I want to talk about. So plan for, plan for uh, trade school this year, okay? Plan for trade school. It is very, very cheap and it will help you to be able to uh, stay prudent so that you don't break the bank while planning for your Jackpa. Now that is that about if you're just seeing this channel for the first time, this is Jackpa with your days. Like and subscribe to this channel so that by the time we drop opportunities like this, you will be the first to get notifications. Also, um, also share this video to your loved one. This will really, really help somebody. Thank you very much once again. Bye-bye for now.